The word for today. I became sad about all the hard work I had done. Ecclesiastes 2.20 And another two more types of disappointment. Four, disappointment in those you work with. When the people you count on fail you, it's painful. Imagine Moses' disappointment. He leaves his brother Aaron in charge while he spends 40 days on Mount Sinai receiving the Ten Commandments. When he returns, what does he find? Israel worshipping a golden calf made by Aaron. When Moses needs him most, Aaron feels miserably. But true leadership shines in disappointment. Moses confronts Aaron, takes the mess to God, and prays for the forgiveness of Israel. God responds, then reminds Moses of his assignment. Go, lead the people. My angel will go before you. Exodus 32, 34. Disappointment doesn't cancel your assignment or God's presence. So do what God has told you to do. Five, disappointment in those you've poured your life into. Let's check in again with Moses, founding pastor of the church in the wilderness. His congregation is made up of former slaves who have been delivered and blessed and who are en route to the promised land, but without a shred of loyalty or gratitude for the man who put everything on the line to make it possible. Fresh out of Egypt, they turn on Moses, accusing, blaming, and berating him. See Exodus 14. Was Moses disappointed and hurt? Yes. But each time he wanted to give up, he would discuss it with God, pray for his complaining flock, get fresh orders from headquarters, and return to work. That's what God called men and women do when they're disappointed and feel like giving up. And it's what you must do too. That is the word for today.